Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Wednesday, September the 9th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, there's a story out there that President Trump has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize, and that's pretty significant. Uh, to my knowledge, only two American presidents have won the Nobel Peace Prize, uh, President Teddy Roosevelt, uh, over 100 years ago, and that was because of his involvement in a war between India and Russia, and that's why he got uh, nominated or won the award. And the other one, of course, was President Obama in 2009, and that was, I think by all accounts, a joke. I mean, I don't think anybody really uh, took that one very seriously. In fact, you never even hear anybody talking about that particular Nobel Peace Prize. I think that was just uh, the committee just I don't know, falling in love with Obama and uh, expecting all kinds of things out of Obama that never actually happened. In this particular case, the nomination is based on two very substantial uh, agreements, diplomatic agreements, that the president has made in that region. And, you know, the Middle East has always been controversial for as long as I can remember. There have always been problems in that region. But it's good to see. It's good to see the president being recognized for really two important achievements. Now, I find it interesting that this is all coming out the same week uh, that The Atlantic magazine put out that silly article uh, about those four people whose names we will never know who were accusing the president of saying whatever he said about troops. And uh, maybe there's a little justice in that, that uh, you know, President Trump is being recognized on an international level uh, and the Atlantic, Atlantic Magazine story is just falling apart every single minute. I mean, there's less and less credibility every time we look into it. So congratulations to President Trump for the nomination. We don't know if he's going to get it, but nevertheless, it's always a great honor to be nominated. In this case, I think he deserves it quite a lot. Thank you for watching. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.